Tamara Martin, how are you? Thank you so much for the good luck. I just made you a mod on the channel. So nobody, if somebody's here, they cannot time you out now. But once again, thank you for being here. And if you are playing Master, if you have played Master, or you are going to play Master, then the whole guide videos are on my channel. All the videos holds ones to nine, ones through nine. You can maybe refer them if you would like to. Yeah, just doing a quick testing with my baby clubs of how it would work, if it would work. How many rounds uh, did you play already in, in the weekend? So that looks okay. We can play with extra mile seven. Let's go. Max 20, P5. documents so I believe we do not have rock level 8 how much backspin does rock level Aussie link check I guess I'm playing Ingrid if she's live I'm nowhere near master okay I mean master is fun you can play the weekend rounds to get some luminaries What was I thinking? Yeah. Golf class drivers. Oh, all right. I mean, the NMT might change because our next one, Rock, seven has less power five yards less than rock level eight and they do have the same backspin though in worst case scenario we will have to play the quarterback shot which i don't want to really Yeah, some people, they do skip tournaments, you know, sometimes get like a little too much. And now with tournaments going on on a, rec on a weekly basis, sometimes the minis, sometimes you have the full tournaments. So it can be a little daunting and also time taking. Yeah, that's Ingrid. Hopefully she drops this one and we get an easy point. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you. I mean, this is my baby master account, so do not expect like many drops or something. Maybe minus 13, 14 and we'll be happy. If we drop 16, then better. Oh, great shot. How's your evening been so far? Okay, this is here.
ten three. Shit. JC John K, thank you so much for Oh there you go. I should have pulled uh pull back one ring. I was thinking maybe 0.5 is less. Use the Amazon ball for that discount. But instead of the Amazon ball, I'm more worried about using the owl ball on hole seven because it's a day setting and owls they sleep during the day. So I'm not sure if the owl ball would work with the M7 there. It's early afternoon here, but good. Oh, okay, Tamara. Are you based out of uh, West, like somewhere in California? This is here. Oh, Washington, that's far. That's like a five-hour flight. Not even five, like four-hour flight from New Jersey. But Washington is far. Now, uh, how much is that? F three right, 5.2 to 5.3 backspin. We don't have a Centurion, nor we have a Kingslayer, but we do have Jekyll and Hyde Ball. I don't want to test it. Yeah, we have rock seven. It doesn't make sense. We won't get the same NMT position. We'll rather play the Berserker and we'll switch to Jekyll and Hyde Ball. Thank you so much. That was a save from the rough. And if you're that close distance from the rough, I always play 10% of the wind. It's not kind of like a thumb rule. You can or cannot play it. Some people, they play the rough iron rule. Regardless, I play 10% of the wind. It's easy, quick to set up. Just it perfect and you will drop it. It has been working for me in tournament and in tour play. Next hole just might get a little difficult because we don't have six tossmen on any club. We do have the luminaries. He's playing the rock shot. Probably one is to one. Sure, Tamara. So, like I said, that close distance, one is to one, 10% uh, of the win, it works most of the time. Extra GC, how are you? Thank you so much for the good luck. Just having a little fun here.
we do hit perfect I wanted to play the rock shot but I did not have rock level 8 this will miss on the left yeah whatever so we need to figure out if we can drop hole 4 and maybe hole 5 So here we have big dog and luminary. We'll just play straight because I don't know and I don't want to waste a token of how it will work out. Our opponent is a good player. Six point nine push to max. BB great left. Let's see how far we roll. Okay, that's a very bad roll. It's like 20 yards less. We should have been somewhere 430, 435. But again, we do not have Tosfin, so I'm not surprised that happened. If you have high level clubs you can play this way in my videos that I have uploaded I also uploaded an approach which was by my opponent he used an albatross ball along with epoch 7 all you need to do is gain as much d distance as on the drive as possible Jose Martin how are you thank you so much for the good luck appreciate you being here this evening just having a little quick uh, play on the baby master account see like I said we should have taken a bounce a little further so max top one right we'll try to visualize the ball guideline that's not happening so 1.5 Eleven point seven ten is six nine. This is going to be ugly. I do hit perfect, but we clip the rough. Rough iron should be played 30%, 20%. I have absolutely no idea. I'll still play that 20, like 30%. Let's play 30.
Nice shot. We don't have ball guard line. We have nothing, absolutely nothing. Just keep it to the hole and pray it drops. 10.5, 25% at maybe 78 slider, 77. This is just a guesstimate shot. I mean, I'm not that bad of a player. I dropped that eagle from distance using Thorn 7. How many, how many people? Seven? Seven viewers? Did you guys see that shot? Come on. That was a very good shot. That's once in a lifetime you drop in a tournament setting, especially in a cross headwind. But I dropped that one. Thank you, Tamara. Thank you so much for the booms. I like that. The remaining six people are just jealous because they cannot drop this shit, can they? That was such a nice shot. We are going to have one more Khalid Alamori. You are also now a mod, sir. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, I mean, even if you are at that distance, never like uh, lose your hope. Always take your shot. Uh, this is Luminary. Here we will need a practice token to determine the slice rings. I'm thinking 15, 14, maybe 13 rings. And we don't have nine yards of power. So I don't know where this slice is gonna end up. But we'll see, we'll try to make the best of the slice. Keeping the bullseye, keeping it here. Eleven three is six three. Push to max. This much. And then I put twelve and a half rings. Maybe twelve point eight. Twelve point eight rings for the slice. We do have the curl. I want to see where do we end up. Do we hit the tree? Okay, that's not a bad slice at all. I was thinking 231 yards of power and where it would end up, where it would not. Hader Logi, thank you so much for the good luck, buddy. How are you? Thanks for being on the channel. Second shot, we're gonna play 10% at slider rings from men. Now hopefully we get a similar wind or a higher wind on the main gameplay, 11.3 plus, so that we get a good roll. I was in the target yard is there, 485 to 500 yards. And I might win a banner on one of the accounts. Oh, that's a nice shot. That's a very well played shot <laughs> inside the tree. GC Basic, thank you so much for the good luck, buddy. How are you? So this is the min line. 10, 
15 17 rings so glitchy ball guideline going through the hole just like that 10% elevation 17 slider 11.4 is 4.5 I think I pulled over the bullseye that's not we are supposed to do if I did not pull over the bullseye it, it would have dropped dead center so now we know what we need to do. We have to have 2.8 rings for slice. Sorry, not 2.8, 12.8. And then try to get into 500 yard range for the drive. And if we do, then we don't, over, uh, don't pull over the bullseye, keep it center and just hit perfect. And it should drop because I've dropped this one on the main account as well. Main account, I mean, has Epoch 7. So you cannot really compare Epoch 3 with Epoch 7. How did you guys do on your mini and how's your weekend going? It's a shitty weekend here in Jersey City. It's been raining all along. Tomorrow I do go out to visit some friends. So that's going to be fun. And once again, uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, if you could please hit the thumbs up button on the channel, sorry, on the video, then it helps uh, support the channel. And anybody who would like to refer to what shots I'm playing, I have the link above to my channel. All the whole guide videos were uploaded this morning. I woke up around like 2.45 a.m. to start playing the round. Okay, that's a good drive, but okay. I wouldn't play this drive, only reason being uh, you can catch a glitch roll, okay that is a good wind. So bullseye by the rough, just like this, 11.6 is 6.5, you push to max, 12.8 rings for apocalypse level 3. Max top to right. And let's see how this one. Oh, fuck. See, that happens. Oh, like, holy shit. If I had 240 yards of power, or maybe 234, because I made the shot with uh, Epoch 4 as well, then I might have not clipped the uh, tree. Now we just scramble for a safe birdie. Oh well, oh well. 16, 14, 13, master. Oh, that's really good, uh, Logie. 16 must be a banner, right? Mine is like 15, 14, and 13. So 15, I am like expecting a banner third place if so because the first i have only one player who hit 16 yet and he deserves to win because he hit a minus 10 on the qualifying round so minus 16 from minus 10 that's like a six point increment and if he doesn't win then i will feel sad for him and if you are into such close range wedge shots, and if you don't drop these, then that's also sad. Big Mike, thank you so much for the good luck, buddy. Now we're just trying to save this for a birdie. I was thinking maybe an eagle. But nope, denied.
We will still play 10% over the bunker and the rough and try to count rings from men. Okay, this is here. Nope, this is not going to work out. No, we have a par. So next hole will be rock. This is sad. We were going nice. Hopefully we drop the next one. Rock seven and Jekyll and Hyde ball. Dean Myers, let me hook you up with a wrench. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. It's just your regular shit show with low-level master clubs. If we hit good score, then we do hit good score, but I did not hit the tree like even once. And I hit the tree right now in the main gameplay. And live a stream. So this will bring us to max line of the rock. Five yards, maybe max line, we would need to apply some OP. And if this drops, then we compensate for the par on four. Because hole six, again, I'm not expecting it to drop. I have dropped it thrice though. I mean, I have hit the Alba three times. Okay, we have this. Let's see. See where this one ends up. Nice rough bump. That was a close miss. Could have used a little more left curl there. Hole six is a power slice. We will use a. We don't have a side spin four with wind five, right? Sorry, power five, size spin four. And I don't want to use. That will bring us more left. Okay, we'll try it regardless. GC Steve, how are you? Let me hook you up with a wrench. Thank you so much for being here. Just quickly running through my final master account. 
and hoping for a banner on one of the accounts at least one banner so we have it epoch 3 and where is it I had one side spin 3 ball power slide legends sticky supernova or we just don't power slide won't cut it luminary just have two yes sir that was close mm -hmm -hmm. bloodsucker maybe because it does offer what we are looking for so max plus 10 p3 and then second shot will be plus 40 percent elevation at slider rings from men we are looking for somewhere between 490 yards plus minus 10 yards because the roll varies you get a good roll you get a bad roll we will start at plus 25 yard mark that's why we need a power 5 ball here otherwise we do not if I was playing with Epoch 4 I could have played with a, a P4 ball instead if I was playing with Epoch 5 plus then I would have played with a P3 ball but this is a setting for Epoch 5 plus so in order to compensate the power distance we are using a power 5 ball okay he's trying to go to green Hopefully he gets there. That was close. That was not bad. 528 yards. He has a very clear view of the pin. So we go to plus 25, plus 26, plus 26. Plus 25 is okay. Keep the ball guideline on right side of the tree just like this. 17 is 9 rings. push up to plus 15 okay four right max top let's see how this one works out nope that was not good we'll still make it to the green for an eagle but we give it a shot if he drops it then good for us we don't have to worry much good luck buddy no oh, I don't have maybe this I should have pushed up 15 yards. Oh damn, that's my bad. Okay, he saved us. Thank you. okay that's that mm 
Now next shot will be we just have one season 46 ball. We don't we have a spirit ball. We have this one. So Okay, we will use only one practice token and use out, I mean, I don't want to use a spirit ball. Thor's ball, Tucson, we have plenty of Zerks, but Zerks ain't gonna cut it. They will put us in water. Spirit. We just have one of these, which is bothering me. Okay, let's use Spirit. Apply Max OP. I use Big Top Ball with Epoch 7. Yeah, I mean, this is just a small account. I don't even have uh, that many premium balls on this, uh, on this one. This is my previous clan. Bunch of good people. Here, Dean, I'm going to play with uh, EM7 and a Spirit Ball. So I don't know how will that work out. If this one goes into the water, then we just lay up on the left. I already have a par. I don't want to have a second par. Oh, okay. Dean. Yeah, uh, no problem. That's fine. Okay, 17. Max toss spin, max toss spin boost. Half a bar of left spin. keep it here this is not gonna be good but we'll see and a double great left hmm we were able to make it over so we need extreme king wind along with the spirit ball enabled to get over there. So that was not a bad approach. We will still use the spirit ball in the main gameplay. Peter Dokes, let me get your wrench. Thank you so much for being here, buddy. Got two LBs on hole six thanks to your video guide. No problem, man. I got uh, like all the albatrosses on three accounts, main, second account and one more account. One will be top 10, one maybe a banner. I see a banner coming. Unless we have like five people hitting 16. 16 is possible. Okay, here. Use backspin, keeping it right here, 1.6 rings. Nope. Thankfully it was, uh, oh, we still drop it. 
So if you guys notice that was a double triple great right and we still were able to drop this one for an eagle. Now let's do it for real and let's see if we get a wind above 17 miles per hour. If we get a lower wind then it's a fucked up situation. We need a higher wind only because we don't have power and toss pin on our driver. If we had either or, 16 could have been okay. Even a Zerk would have been fine. Oh no. Okay, 17. Max toss spin, toss spin boost, half ball. Sorry, half a bar of left spin. Keep it right here. This much curl. Shit. This might be water. No, it's rough. At least it's not water. We are still able to get a chance for the second shot. Come on, drop it. Okay. That is like seventy percent. At least it will roll down this time. Maybe should have played that minus 20. Or maybe minus 10. Yo, what the fuck? Keep it here. Four rings. Nice. So one more, hopefully we drop hole eight, something for the stream. I mean, we already saved uh, hole three. At least get a 12 and get some clan points. Quarterback, start with a navigator switch to a Kingslayer which we don't have then we switch to a Jekyll and Hyde ball what 
1 is to 1 plus 0.4 is what we are going to play. David Ishaya, thank you so much. We are just going to wrap up the stream soon. Just playing this one final two holes. It's going to be a short stream. How long? An hour? Probably the shortest stream I ever had. Not ever. Maybe I had tour play before this. But before we clear the stream, we will look where are we standing. And hopefully... We get a banner, one banner. I don't care if it's like a third place banner, but that account played good. Minus 15 in the final round, minus 14 in the qualifying round. And in final round, we have a Albatross. Unless some weird pay, uh, player pops up and they dethrone me. A dethrone, it's not dethroning, it's winning. That is completely eyeball shot. So at absolute max, just like that, then you switch to a Jekyll and Hyde ball. Nine point five. We do hit perfect. Nice bounce. Come on. That was a close miss. I was double minded. Should I push it more left? I should have, actually. And we, we would have dropped that one. The final hole coming up. Thank you so much, Khalid. I mean, yeah, we are trying our best. I was expecting a 12, at least one drop. But when you don't have clubs, when you don't have anything, you just swing it, you know. This ball will give us a chance. Not sure it will drop, but we have the big dog, right? For second shot. Yes, we do. Now, this will only work if we don't clip the rough on first bounce. If we clip the rough on, uh, sorry, if we don't clip the rough on second bounce. If we somehow manage to clip it, then it's going to be a difficult one to uh, get an eagle. You see, you have four toss win and then four toss win boost. Even with max position, we are not in a good range see this one if I change to uh, luminary it's still not worth it or you know what we will use this ball keep it safe here That's like a half hook. And it should stop before the rough. 
Nice. Rob G, Jordan Lee, thank you so much, guys, for the good luck. Just final hole. I'm going to end the stream soon. And hopefully I get a banner. If I get a banner, then it will pay off me waking up at 2.45 a.m. to make the guides. Second shot, big dog. From that side, we'll apply mm, seven toss win, maybe one toss win boost to get it towards the green and maybe have a chip. So this shot I just played right now, the drive is, I just made up on the stream right now. It was not like pre-decided or something. If I had a uh, EM8, I would have gone over the bunker. Epoch 5, obviously, over the bunker. So going over the bunker is the safest bet. If you are playing with Epoch 3 or EM7, like I am, then you can play this way. Somewhere between like 450 yards like our opponent. There you go, 454. Now this shot might be difficult, but if you are able to pull this off, let's see. Let's keep it here. Ball guideline is going there. Seven seven. The top spin might be a little too much. I'm telling you that before playing the shot. We do hit perfect. Not a bad save, not a bad shot. We are here. And I don't know what club we have, if we have the rapier or if we have EB, looks like EB4. So 20% regular EB rule. Oh, and he's trying for the Alba. Good one. If he drops the Alba, then it's even better for us. Get in the hole. Oh, where did that miss? Behind the pin. Get this as here. I'm going to play this one 50%. Ball cut line just going here like that 6.1 rings well, that was a nice shot Played EB school regular, 20% elevation at 50% slider, medium distance of the club. Take the bounce on the fringe to have a even ball guideline line going through the hole. If you keep it to the hole, you might come in short. So keep it through the hole and just hit perfect. That was a good eagle. Considering the clubs I'm using, I mean AM7 and Big Dog 7. Now, if you would like to stick around, we can have a look at the banner one. How are we doing on the banner? Before we do that, we take this one. Mm, 
what do we get? Okay. Let's go here. Triple one eight. Thanks for the boom, Jordan. I like your videos because you give the slighter percentage. I'm that's the part I'm still learning. Thanks for the guides. No problem, Dean. So slider percentage, like I it was my guesstimate fifty percent. I might not be accurate with that. Some people they have rulers on the scale, like they have jailbroken devices. So ruler can give you more accurate slider. It's just like a what I see on the first instance I take at my slider. So we are still second. And this guy, he played really well. He deserves to win. He is 16. I don't know how he managed to hit an eagle on 9, but whatever. From minus 10, he went to minus 16. That's like 6-point increment right there. And we hit 14 in the qualification, 15 here. Albatross, eagle, eagle, eagle. And then eagle on 3. Hole 4, I hit a great left. Otherwise, I would have hit a 16 as well and maybe surpassed him because my qualifying round was better. But I don't see any threat in the bracket yet. Six for nine. Even if he hits, uh, we are going to take him. Six for eight. Five for seven. Miro, I don't know who this guy is, but he hit 16. So we can expect him to hit 16 again. Or maybe 15 at least. Josh, okay. Two players. James is good. STL, Sergio. And nobody else here. So if we get a banner, then good. If we don't, at least we tried. Now we look at the account. So this account, Epoch 5 account, is which with I played the guides I mean I made the guides this will be somewhere top 10 I'm guessing because I hit a 14 Miro is a good player he's in my clan oh that's a great Jordan Yeah, let's say top 10. What the fuck? 18. Okay, let's say top 15 for this one. No problem, Dean. Thank you so much for being here. I am also uh, almost done with the stream. Oh, look who we teabagged. Jackie. We teabagged Jackie. Jackie managed a bogey. I don't know how she did that, but okay. We teabag Jackie, and who else we have? And we don't have anybody. We have CJ Arnold. that is that account so that's that I don't know if I'm gonna get a banner or not most likely maybe a third place if somebody doesn't manage to hit like 16 but most likely they will because like we had some good players one player is from Jordan's clan they are beast players but I'm satisfied minus 15 with epoch 4 and EM8 not a bad score could have been a 16 if I did not hit great on all four but that's it for the stream guys it was a quick stream just playing my final round on the baby master account thank you so much for being here and hope you have a very good weekend like saturday is almost done tomorrow is sunday you guys take care and i will see you guys soon take care and bye bye for now